Um, hi guys, and welcome back to another Strelok C++ tutorial, and, uh, well, another remake, I mean. So, uh, a raise. Did I promise we'll do a raise? No, I didn't. Well, we'll do them anyways. Uh, arrays are very w vital to programming in C++, and, uh, that's why we're gonna learn them. So... Uh, let's see an array think of an array as um, a post office I heard this somewhere and I like the idea so a post office uh, ha oops can have a lot of mailboxes right and uh, so imagine each of these is a mailbox and inside the mailbox there may be data uh, 54 uh, five, six, four, whatever. There may be data inside some of these boxes, and um, like that. That's uh, could be an instance of an array, and so again, a one-dimensional array is like a row of post office boxes, just one row. But if you if you get into multi-dimensional arrays then you're talking about uh, several rows so you could have for example this and you could have as many rows as you wanted and I could even uh, this could be an instance of my array uh, so something like this and then my data could be here or here or whenever and some something like this this could be an instance of the the array so, uh, yeah, basically that's uh, a short, ex a graphical representation of an array. Think of an array as a chessboard, although, or as a x, y axis, where this is the y axis and this is the x axis. So, um, actually, in programming, it's reversed. So, this is uh, the y axis going from up from the top left corner going down is the y-axis, the positive y-axis and then the positive x-axis is the same as you learn in geography. So, oops, getting over this uh, theoretical type of perspective, let's um, get down to the code a bit and then we'll learn why use arrays and how you can use them. So once again I'm gonna include IO stream, input and output stream, I'm gonna include conio.h for get char once again using namespace std standard namespace so here's our main function okay so we got our template or whatever it's not a template but I like to call it that because it's a pre-made uh, template for a program and you can just code inside so let's finish up our template then so get ch at the bottom return zero and then we finished so one, once we make this program we can run it right away and it will it should run unless we made any errors so let's um, define an array uh, well, what shall we do first let's let's define an array of integers so those are cool int int stands for integer it's a date type and we went over that in tutorial 2 so you remember how to declare an integer Sure, integer uh, days. Oh, that's uh, that's obvious. Days, or um, sure. So um, now these two brackets specify uh, the size of the array. Well, it, the number inside them specifies the size of an array, and they actually are. Uh, that's how the declaration of an array looks. So if you want um, five members of uh, the days array, of an array called days, um, your five members will look like this. So it's remember that post box, box office example? We have five, uh, five post bo uh, boxes and this one, the name of this one is day zero so the name of the first one is day zero and then the same thing here but uh, the second one would be day one oops 
So this would be day one, two, three, four. So once again, this is my like my post bo bo box, and inside is the name of the post box. So I just put the name on it. So uh, they array started zero, which can be a little confusing, but it should be pretty obvious. So if you declare this array of days in days five, you'll get uh, like these five boxes: one, two, three, four, five. And day four is the fifth box, so don't don't confuse. If you if you try to refer to the day uh, day oops day fifth element, then you don't really know what you get because you're going beyond the scope of the array. And that's actually how a lot of well some viruses are coded beyond the scope of the array. It's it's a glitch with well used to be a glitch with C++ and the older operating systems like Windows 95, Windows 98 you could go beyond uh, the array and like code in some, some of your own data or be, go before the start of an array and code in some of your own data and then that would change the function of the program and you could make a virus or crack a program or something like that so we won't go into that though we'll just keep stay inside the scope but this is our array that we defined here if we define it uh, obviously the assignment operator you can use that to define the values of an array so um, I have I put these curly braces uh, to represent uh, the, ar the array basically and uh, here I put the values, so I can put if if I have five elements, I can put five values here, and they should be all integers because I defined an integer array. So now, if I put five values, uh, my arrays. Uh, so day zero is going to be initialized to five to the first value. Day one is going to be initialized to twelve. So I can actually uh, take this and put the actual values of the arrays inside these boxes so that will be a little bit easier because before I just had the names and now I have the actual values to put in there so this is going to be 23 so now this is uh, remember that post bo box example this is my first post box second post box etc well how do I refer to it let's comment this out so that it doesn't distract us for later but how do I refer to it see out the first element of my array contains and I'm just gonna skip a line and because I didn't put a semicolon at the end here the compiler still thinks that it's one uh, sentence so you could you could do you could just keep doing this and um, until you put a semicolon it will still think it's one sentence so I'm gonna say the first my uh, sorry days zero because remember zero is the first the, the reference to this to this box is the, the name of this box is days zero so if I put day zero here it's just like I'm referencing another variable and I'm gonna go to this the computer is gonna go to this mail those post box and say uh, hey guys what's in there oh five okay let's print out the five so day zero. Also, the same thing I, I could do by putting specifying days, but I don't recommend it. Um, I'll just put a blank here. Oops, sorry. And uh, days. And now you'd get the same, the same, ex I think the same exact thing. Well, uh, let me just check. So we'll run this and um, compiling and run it, I'm running it. So, uh, days actually has the memory location of uh, the array. So, I was wrong actually. Days and days, uh, days zero and days are the different things. Days contains the memory location of the whole array. So, um, yeah, uh, that is that's the difference. So, let let just take out this part and the the element first element of the array contains five and uh, 